machine learning is already being used all around us. It's used when you need a recommendation for your movie on Friday night. It's being used in the banking sector. And in the future, we expect it's going to be used in even more areas. So we're hoping it's going to be used in the fields of healthcare, that it's going to be used for education. It's going to be used for governance to help people make better decisions. Living in a world that becomes more and more complex, we could all benefit from personal assistance. And we know it's not possible to make these systems human all the way. So machine learning technology can provide low cost, very scalable alternatives to help us sift through the complexity of today's world. The, the advances that we've seen uh, in the past two years of how algorithms uh, are gradually becoming better th than humans in uh, recognizing images, in recognizing uh, texts, in analyzing uh, medical data, uh, a lot of this exciting research is happening right here in the UK. Activities that we run here at the Capital Centre are hugely important to uh, moving the conversations from just being a conversation into some real business. We spend a lot of time working in an open innovation framework, bringing together academia with the big businesses, with the small businesses and with other kind of membership organizations such as the RSA. Now is the right time for industry to be thinking about machine learning. It's up and coming. They have the data, we have the algorithms, and there's really the talent in the UK to be thinking about this. And so what we need to be doing is figuring out what challenges people have in their everyday life that they want solved and see how we can bring industry and machine learning together to help solve some of these challenges.